today we are going to be showing you how to make lasagna. We're going to start off by adding in minced onions and crushed garlic. Add in your seasonings and meats, then cook until it becomes brown. The sausage and ground beef need to be heated to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Raw meat can contain potentially hazardous bacteria. The ingredients that are prone to spoilers such as the sausage, beef, egg, and cheese should be kept in the refrigerator until they are ready to be used. While preparing the meat, it's necessary to make sure to handle it with clean knives cutting boards designated for the meat in order to avoid cross-contamination. Next, stir in the crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, and tomato sauce. Leave the pot to simmer for one and a half hours while stirring it occasionally. In a mixing bowl, we're going to prepare a ricotta cheese mixture by stirring in ricotta cheese, egg, parsley, and salt. The egg needs to be heated to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Next, bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil before adding in the lasagna noodles. The pasta should be kept in a cool, dry place such as a pantry before use. Boil the noodles for 8-10 to 10 minutes. When the lasagna noodles are boiled, they are cooked by conduction as the heat from the pot directly heats up the water molecules, which in turn heat the noodles. Dried pasta rehydrates by absorbing water. This process, known as gelatinization, is when the starch is heated in liquid causing its volume, viscosity, and translucency to increase. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Now we can start assembling the lasagna in a baking dish. Spread the meat sauce on the bottom of the baking dish. Arrange the noodles lengthwise over the meat sauce, then spread half of the ricotta cheese mixture over the noodles. Top the cheese mixture with mozzarella slices before spreading more meat sauce over the mozzarella, then sprinkle Parmesan cheese over the sauce. Different cheeses melt at different temperatures due to varying levels of water, protein, acid, and fat. When the cheese is heated in the oven, the fat and the cheese begins to melt to a liquid state. The bonds between the case and network begins to break, which lets the cheese become goo-like. Pasteurization is very important in making sure cheeses do not contain potential pathogens. Dairy products need to be stored properly to prevent potential spoilers by keeping it at 35 to 40 degrees. The browning of the cheese crust on the top of the lasagna is caused by the Meyer reaction. When the cheese goes in the oven, the high temperatures cause the simple sugars and amino acids to restructure themselves into a pattern that looks brown to us. The Meyer reaction also produces new flavors and aromas in the lasagna. Cover your baking dish with foil without touching the cheese to prevent sticking. Put the lasagna in the oven to bake for 25 minutes. Remove the foil after 25 minutes then bake it for another 25 minutes. Casserole dishes need to be heated to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. When the lasagna is baking in the oven, it is being cooked by conduction. Once the baking dish in the top of the lasagna is heated, the inner parts of the lasagna are cooked by conduction as the heat will be transferred directly via contact. Serve and enjoy.